It is important to be able to calculate each team's capacity for PI planning. Kendis provides flexible ways to calculate a team's capacity per sprint. The team capacity menu option is available from the More menu. There is a default value set to 8. This means 8 story points per user per sprint. You may change the default value to suit your particular needs. Click on the Enable Editing next to the team name. It is possible to select an existing Kendis user, search users from your Agile tool, or even create a new user by providing a name and email. Once you add users from the Agile tool or create a new one, they will be available for subsequent usage and will not consume your Kendis license. They are marked as non-Kendis users in the users directory. Once a user is selected, type their per sprint capacity. Then the sum at row and column level will be updated. Once we are done with the selection of the team users, go to the main board and check the capacity in each sprint and it should now reflect what you have in the team capacity section. In case you want to use the capacity at a team level rather than individual users, you may go to the relevant team, enable editing, and then click on the user's text box. The default dialog will show you a list of your Kendis users. To set the team level capacity, you need to create a user. You may use your team name, for example. Provide the first name as team and the last name as alpha. Then give any email address, for example, team.alpha at kendis.io. And then select this as the user. Now set the velocity for your iteration or sprint per team. For example, in this case, we will use a value of 40 for sprint 1, a value of 34 for sprint 2, and so on. All the team names are listed at the top of the section and show the sum at a team level. This section gives you a simple overview of your team capacities at the PI level. Team capacity values are visible in the team area and also under Analytics in the Delivery by Teams and Progress by the Teams section.